Destination Vacation, sponsored by Holiday Tours. If you'd like to search for hidden treasures, you can certainly do that by heading straight over to Franklin County. In this week's Destination Vacation, we're going on the hunt for gold with CBS 17's Amalia Roy. Corey Carter is the newest in a long line of stewards of Portis Gold Mine in Franklin County. It's not a complicated process, but it's one that has to be practiced and learned. Gold was first discovered at the site in the 1830s. It ran all the way through until about 1940-ish, give or take a little bit, is when commercial mining pretty much stopped. Today, it's a recreational mine where enthusiasts can scour the land for any remaining treasure. Place to get your feet wet if you want to find gold. We teach you how to find gold, what to look for, how to pan for it, provide the equipment. Carter offers panning classes to newcomers. Today we're just going to do a little bit of panning to show everyone how we do it. And those really on the hunt can rent a pump for the day. And then a jet nozzle comes in and washes all that dirt. Carter says most visitors stick to the main area, but the entire property is open to mining. If you have a spare metal detector lying around, you can come out here to this pasture and potentially find artifacts dating all the way back to the mid 19th century. Just next to Portis Gold Mine used to be a free black settlement. Right up here in this pasture area, I find buttons and flintlock muzzle loading um, bullets and, and various other things from the time period. Visitors can keep anything they find from their prospecting. In Franklin County, Amalia Roy, CBS 17 News. It actually looks like a lot of fun to go out there and do yeah. that. you got to have patience though, right? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Don't forget, you can see all of our destination vacation stories on CBS17.com. You can find it under the News tab.